We meet again here in my kitchen with an extremely pale face. Um, I'm about to get my makeup done by the head of art makeup artistry for Hourglass, which is very exciting. She's coming here to do my makeup before our dinner tonight. Yeah, they're about to get here, so I'm bloody excited to get some tan on my face. My face looks like extremely white because I've got a spray tan for fashion week. Okay, we're in the car on our way to dinner with Hourglass. We're gonna go to the Hacienda first for a few drinks with Lily and Em. Then we're gonna meet the others at O Bar and Dining, which I haven't been to, so I'm really excited to try that out. But um, the makeup actually fell through tonight, uh, which is fine, because she's gonna come tomorrow instead at 12.30 and do my makeup for one of the shows for Fashion Week. So I'm gonna show you guys that tomorrow instead. A bit of a change in the schedule, but Change yeah. is good. Change is good. And now we get to just go have some wine. Love that. Hey ladies. Hello. Hey ladies. Hi ladies. Hi ladies. <laughs> Having a little drinky poo before dinner. Hello beautiful. Hello. Look who I found. Ah, city slickers. <laughs> He's joined us for dinner. It's going to be a beautiful evening I think. It's an intimate dinner at Over. 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 I already told them that. That's why I was trying to think of something else to say. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway. We are so grateful for all the support that you give Hourglass to just celebrate you and our brand new uh, launch for our Unreal Gloss, which you will see sprinkled through. It is incredible. It is one of the most amazing, hydrating, volumizing glosses. So you'll all get a chance to play with that and take some home with you. Okay. We have found the bread and we found the lollies. <laughs> we're, in, we're in a good spot. We're in a happy place right now. And we've just discovered that the building moves. <laughs> well, I've just discovered anyway. <laughs> Cheers, babes. Absolutely delicious. Yes. Okay. Okay. I am filming today, finally, a makeup tutorial. I am so excited about it. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in what feels like the longest time. I was lucky enough to have Chanel from Hourglass come and do my makeup. Oh my god, was I obsessed with it as well. I was the doofus, however, that started filming her doing my makeup really far away and you can hardly tell what she's doing. So I've actually just decided that I want to recreate it, copy what she did and see if I can re-achieve the same look that she did on me. So I'm going to insert her down here and I'm going to sort of follow along with what she's doing but show you guys sort of a closer, clearer look um, and sort of explain it as I go. Let's jump into it. Obviously, of course, she started off with the Veil Primer. This is my favourite primer and has been for years. I obviously jump around between primers, um, depending on whether I want to go glowy or long wearing, but this is the one that I use when I want to do more of a long wearing look. <laughs> Yesterday I like squirt this all over myself. So oh, I'm I did putting it to the other side. <laughs> I so. did that today. It went all. I mean, sorry, yesterday I didn't wearing it. It went all up my wall. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's good. I'm so excited to have a fresh bottle of it. It makes your face look white like a ghost. But holy crap, the texture of this stuff is truly incredible. It, it feels like you're putting silk on your skin. This is the best primer ever, though. And just like instantly smooths the pores and just silk. Hey, don't even think about it. Look how pale I am. She's given me a few shades, <laughs> funnily enough. She used the foundation, this is the Vanish Stick foundation. She used it as my foundation and as my concealer. However, she obviously gave me the shade Shell as my lighter concealer and then she's given me the shade Golden and Nude as my foundation. I think that I'll actually be Shell now because I'm not wearing any fake tan. I'm gonna put on Nude, it'll still be a bit too dark for me but I'm just gonna bring it down my neck and hopefully we can just figure it out. And I don't have the foundation brush that she used so I am gonna just go in with a blender and just blend that in. Actually that is such a good colour, it might be like a little dark but I, think I do have the brush she used but I just don't- oh my god shut up I found it! Ah! <laughs> It's hiding right here behind. I actually have it, so I'm gonna use that. <laughs> this is the brush that she used just to blend all my foundation in. I'm actually really hot. I don't know why I'm wearing a jumper. So this is sort of how she started. She started blending it in. And then she sort of took the bullet with the brush and sort of just built up the coverage. On the day, the shade that I used was golden. Very beautiful finish. 
I haven't used this foundation in the longest time. Right now I definitely don't have a brush that she used for concealer so I will be using a sponge for this. She used Shell in the Vanish Stick foundation and she used it as my concealer. Which all day didn't crease. Um, the makeup stayed really well which is surprising because I thought that such a creamy foundation would crease but it, like it really didn't. And she used it as the base on the back of my eyelid as well before the shadows. So I'm going to take my Veil Translucent, Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to set my T-zone area. I just don't, I think I had stopped filming at this point. But she definitely set my face with this, I know that for sure. I just don't know how she did it. So actually we did sort of set my whole face but we used this Ambient Lighting Palette, which has Dim Light, Incandescent Light, and Radiant Light. We use this on all the high points of my face. I definitely noticed she swept it on the highlighted spots, but sort of on my cheeks, like uh, as if it was a blush. And it gives like a really subtle glow. So it's not like one of those stripy highlights, it's one that you can put all over your face. Mecca Glow Blush, which apparently is actually limited edition to Mecca. Um, this is such a beautiful peachy shade. So she put this all over my cheeks. That's so pretty. That has a full glow to it as well. It's lovely. So Chanel did my eyebrows next. She used the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. I actually used to use this. I'm going to just put fur all over my face. And obviously because we get sent so much makeup, things change all the time. We try out new products all the time. So, sort of. I forgot about it. She did my eyebrows really well, but I'm just not good at my eyebrows. Sketch over. She really brushed these bad boys up. She loved a good bushy brow. I love a good bushy brow. Love a bushy brow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she took Diffused Bronze Light, which is this, which is crazy because it looks like more light than bronze, but as you swirl it, it must just turn into a bit of a bronzer. And she actually lifted my eyebrow to give it like a bit, I don't know, <laughs> don't know why, but she did it, so I'm going to copy. Maybe give it more of a lifted look. That does give off a full bronzer, that's so interesting. You wouldn't expect it from looking at it. Okay, then next, I'm, I'm kind of watching it down here. Next up she put something on my lid. I don't know what it was and I don't have it, so I'm gonna have to skip that step. She used a bit of a deeper, darker shade in the outer corner, which I don't have. I'm just gonna grab a dark brown and put it on my outer... I think she must have had a palette with her and I don't have that palette. So I'm just gonna take just a normal darker brown and just put that in my outer corner. It looked something like this. Smudge out the same thing on the lower lash line. And she went quite far in. So now all over my eyelids, she put on some scattered light glitter eyeshadow foil. So I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. That is absolutely stunning. And she just used her fingers to put this on, so I'm just copying her. I would do the same thing, I would just put it on my fingers. That is so pretty. Wow, it's funny as well how different things look on you when you're like tanned versus pale. Like, because my whole face was really tanned, this showed up as more of like a lighter gold, and now it's quite like a nice deep gold. In here. She used a black liner on my top lash line, which is Hourglass Mechanical Eyeliner in Obsidian. Obsidian? My top. Oh, it's starting to play. <laughs> my top lash line. I am going to stick on these half falsies. These are the ones that I was using throughout Fashion Week. I just stick them down there, like that. That's how they look, and I just stick them on the outer edges. I know I always say this, and I'm sorry, but I'm sorry the light keeps changing. Um, 
and I just stick them on the outer edges. It's so easy. Okay, now another thing that she did that was super different to anything that I would do. P.S. Sorry if those glue still drying. She used the Hourglass, again, mechanical eyeliner, but in bronze. And she used this on my lower lash line on the inner rim. And it just gave it like that little bit of darkness, but not crazy black. I put a little bit on the... Not just the waterline, a little bit on the edge as well. I really like the way that that looks. And now I'll put the mascara on the lower lash line. I always just like to stick to what I know and I never actually experiment with makeup. But it's not until someone else does your makeup that you actually really like that you go, oh, okay. And because I don't wear makeup that often, like, although I'm a makeup gal, I really only wear it when I'm going out, and so when I'm going out I like to stick to <laughs> the look that I like. I feel like I've kind of nailed it. It kind of looks quite similar. I'm coming to take your job, Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> the new Unreal Gloss from Hourglass is absolutely insane. I've been wearing it every day. If you guys have wondered what gloss has been on my lips, it has been this Hourglass one. This is the one that I wore in the video, and this is in the shade Sublime. But, I've been wearing this quite a lot. I really want to try this one. This one's more of a golden, I think it would come off a little bit more clear, and it's called Ignite. And this is how it looks. And I feel like it'll look so good with the bronzy eyes. So, I feel like I should zoom you guys in a little more. Yes, it's exactly what I thought. It's going to be like a clear, with like little shimmers. It smells like extra, it's like gum, like spearmint. That is just divine. Here is the final result. I hope Chanel's proud if she's watching this. I hope that I've done you proud. I'm going to skip back to introducing you guys to Chanel and then I'll say goodbye at the end of the video. Come in. Yeah. Come say hello. Hi. Here is the final result. So pretty. This is Chanel from Hourglass. Hi everyone. She has just absolutely blessed my face. Easy face to bless. Oh, stop. It was perfect. Stop, More, more, more. <laughs> So much fun. Oh my god, I'm You're obsessed. Ready. Right guys, I'm dressed and ready to go. I am literally obsessed with my makeup. Chanel did such an incredible job. I'm wearing the new gloss from Hourglass. I'm gonna head off to Fashion Week now um, and continue my vlog for Fashion Week. So I will see you guys when we are doing this. So that is the end of today's video. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you check down in the description box for all of the products that I used today. Thank you so much to Chanel for coming and doing my makeup and teaching me this beautiful bronzed look. And I think I will be doing this look more often now. It's very sultry. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.